but if actions are taken because of that and usually it's easy to see then it is definitely a violation of the sunshine law which I which I was glad to see now ladies and gentlemen that was our county to the west our county to the east uh, and, and this is a story from the Northwest Florida Daily News. Uh, Dusty Ricketts uh, wrote this one. Uh, actually, the county administrator of Okaloosa County said, Hey, guys, time out. Yes. We need to have a meeting. I actually, I actually want to read his first sentence here. Okaloosa County Administrator Jim Curry does not want the same type of sunshine violation complaints in his county that Santa Rosa County is facing right now. And uh, it, it appears that they're going to be proactive, and and, and uh, that's good news. Good well, I, well, absolutely. Look, I'm pleased to see that. You know, this this whole fight in Santa Rosa County started because of the lack of transparency and accountability. Yes, this is what it's all about, and uh, and I am certainly excited to see that the uh, Scambia County attorney is drawing them out, trying to get. And, and, and then we have the county administrator in another county that's corralling things over there. Uh, these two individuals, when all is said and done, will be heroes to the in the eyes of the constituents. They will they will show their appreciation, and I and I, and I think it's I think it's a good thing. I, you just you can't be transparent. You can't be too transparent, and you can't be too accountable. That's what keeps them honest. Well. Yeah, I, you, you know when you when you get in a situation of what we've seen, and, and ladies and gentlemen, we you know we've we've given you example after example here. When you're not allowed to see emails, when you're not allowed to be in meetings, uh, how's a citizen supposed to know anything? Right. And uh, when when you see an obvious outcome, and you know, and the citizen is the last line of defense. Right. You know, De Deborah, Deborah and I have gotten pretty good at uh, spotting crystallization. Yes. Uh, it, it's uh, to the to the untrained eye, you don't notice. You got to pay attention. This is when decisions are formed ahead of time, and then right. just sort of sprung on people. Absolutely. At the public meeting. You 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 know that there was a meeting over there, but you really you didn't see too much over there, and then all of a sudden you see a presentation to the commissioners. And there's a ceremonial acceptance of right. that decision. Uh, that that should be hitting you in the head right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is what they're talking about. And the sunshine is very clear all the way back to 1968 that every step of everything where taxpayer money is involved, the public is supposed to be present at that. Uh, it, it seems that we're seeing some movement in Santa Rosa County on a looking at all of the all of the situations that have been brought forward uh, it, it's on a personal note it's uh, it certainly tells me that uh, we're over the target with the amount of flack that's being thrown right now with the ugliness that, that uh, Commissioner Salter slung and uh, you know people kind of hiding in the fallen fallen some of us around you know, it's very obvious that we're over the target, and uh, and I hope that our law enforcement agencies will go ahead and make a move on some of this stuff, and let let's clean it up. Let's, you know, if there's nothing there, exonerate every last one of them. If there's something there, don't stop until you get them all. That you know, there's no reason to say, well, let's stop here. You know, well, that's a little too far. No, take it as far as it goes. And, it, and if the local agency is not big enough to handle it, for goodness sakes, the FBI is right down there in Okaloosa County. All they got, they're, they're living in condos down there right now with all that sheriff stuff. Go get an FBI guy and bring him over here. You know, I, 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 just, I just want it cleaned up. But for future reference, it does appear that this discussion is pushing compliance in a lot of places. Things are looking up. Absolutely. Uh, Deborah, we have... Uh, an issue I know you want to talk about it yes and, and uh, so you throw it out there I'll let you throw it out and then and then I will be adamantly opposed to you but go ahead well um, Santa Rosa Commission discussed uh, initiating a transit system last last week during the County Commission hearings right. um, and that was approved which is good news uh, they're going to start a transit system in Santa Rosa County um, I think at this point this is this is the right move this is what sort of initiate building a it would be bust at this point system up between Escambia and Santa Rosa County. 
the TPO, which is the Transportation Planning Organization, has actually already purchased two buses. So there's no need to buy a you bus. Know. There's 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 no need to buy um, uh, the infrastructure because everything's kind of already in place with the uh, Pensacola Bay Transportation Company. Apparently, it would cost Santa Rosa uh, County about thirty thousand dollars a year to get this going, and uh, that may be more. That ended up maybe more, maybe ended up being less, depending on you know what the ridership is. But at this point, they think they can do it for thirty about thirty thousand dollars a year. Um, would have a three times a day service between Nine Mile Road Target and up and down Highway 90 and also to the Santa Rosa Medical Center. Hmm, interesting that Santa Rosa Medical Center is included in that. Yes, well, hmm. I mean, a lot of people go there. That You know, elderly people, disabled people have to get to the hospital somehow. Now, not, Deb every, not everybody drives. Deborah, 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 my, you know, Green Party partner here. How you want to love and help everyone, I do appreciate that. If you will including, show me, including the air. If you will, if you will show me one bus service on planet Earth that's even breaking even, I would like to see it. Well, let me, if, let me ask you this: show, show me one policing or military service on planet Earth that's breaking even right now. There, there are some services that people Here's, agree. <laughs> it's nice to have coming from the government, and this is one of them. There are some services. People, I'd be you in the mouse. It's in your pocket, not your TV partner right here. There are some here's services. The, here's that the here's the problem. Everybody here's the problem. Use. Here's the problem. That benefit everybody. Here's the problem. It never fails. Go look at Escambia County. It's one scandal after another. It's money going into somebody's pocket. It's lack of maintenance. It is it's every, not that many scandals. every, please, everything in the book. The, the last scandal in Escambia County, they were working on a private boat at right there where they had the buses at. Please. It continues to be an economic problem over and over for every community that assumes bus service and it's going to be thirty thousand dollars this year and it's going to be sixty thousand dollars next year and it'll be a quarter of a million dollars next year and on and on and all the taxpayers are going to see is a gigantic hole where more of their tax dollars will fall you into reduce it. traffic so you reduce air pollution you reduce wear and tear on the roads if you, it's you, so you, good, don't have a license, if it's if, to if it's so good, why do they not have ridership in Escambia County? They 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 every, constant, every time I ever see a bus or somebody on it, the, people yeah, on well, it in County. Well, that, every single time I've seen a bus, I'm glad your visual observation goes I that way. I see them waiting at the bus stops. But according to the numbers, they are constantly cutting bus routes because there's not enough ridership to make it economically feasible to go there. I'm just, ladies and gentlemen, I guess you can tell. We don't, how, we don't how, agree on this. <laughs> we, I don't think we, we're going to come to a, a concurrence today. I don't think so either, Deborah. And with that said, um, maybe we'll talk about this issue again. Maybe we won't. Oh, it's going to come up again. <laughs> I'm Jerry Cooley. I'm Deborah Nelson. Good night. I have sin. I have sin. I have sin.